Hey Brian, it's Bree with Northland Marketing. I wanted to quickly go over your website here, a couple of things I found and how we can help you improve your site. And as you said, get in touch with some of the younger generation here for your website. Now, going through your website, you have absolutely beautiful photos here, incredible work, and I really, I really like it. I do recommend having a drop down maybe that says services and to talk a little bit more about what your services are. Because when I first came here, I actually didn't know. I mean, I woodworking, right? I know that you do woodworking, but I wasn't exactly sure what you did or didn't offer. I don't immediately see that. I, oops, I know you said that you were in the commercial or business to business, and I don't immediately see anything that says about that. You typically want to have like a keyword to let people know immediately a little bit more about what you do. So just getting a little bit more specific, but I, I really love these photos. They are beautiful. The other thing I immediately noticed is your website is not secure here. So see how it's HTTP? It should be HTTPS. And now we'll get your website secure. When it's not secure, some people will go to your site on their computer or their phone, and it'll do that warning, hey, this site isn't secure. Are you sure you want to go here, or would you like to back out? And most people will back out. So I have a feeling a lot of people are not actually making it to your website and are backing out and are going elsewhere. With that being said, if I scroll down, there's nothing else to your website, right? So it's really just as photos. You've got a little bit of, uh, you've got an award here from House from 2019, your social medias, and an email and phone number. So there's really nothing to your homepage, which is an issue for two reasons. The first reason being is that Google likes to see a minimum of 1,500 words. This is because they have crawlers that are coming through, they're reading the content, they're trying to figure out what areas you serve, what services you offer, etc. The more content you have, the more Google is going to think you're an expert. In addition to that, you want to have keywords within the content. If someone was searching for woodworking Philadelphia or commercial woodworking Philadelphia or whatever it is, they were searching for that and you had um, commercial woodworking Philadelphia all over your website, you would be really relevant for that keyword and Google would be willing to put you higher up at the top. That's important because when people are Googling for your services, you want them to find you. Now, if we actually did a Google search for, let's say, commercial woodworking Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, and this might not be spot on what you're looking for, I'm just using it as an example here. This is called the map pack, and the top three listed here are the ones that receive a lot of the work because they're super easy to find and they're listed right away. The way you get yourself into the top three here is by one, having a Google business profile, two, filling it out as much as possible, so name, address, phone number, photos, posts, etc., and then Three, getting your name, address, and phone number listed into as many directories as possible. Directories are things like Yelp or Yellow Pages, etc. You want to get yourself listed into those. It kind of helps power this profile. The websites listed below here, these are called the organic. Some of the same things apply. You want to be on the front page and ideally the top three. Let's take a look at this first one here, Philadelphia Woodworking. Let's take a look at their, oops, their site. Now they do have a shop, they do have classes, instruction. They're not necessarily a direct competitor to you uh, in terms of their services. However, they are ranking for some of the same keywords. So let's just take a look at what they're doing to rank for those keywords. So they've got some content. They actually really don't have a whole lot of content on this homepage. So let's take a look at why they are ranking. This is a paid program called Arifs I use to research websites. I went ahead and put them into here so we can see what you're up against. The second thing I want to go over is UR and DR ratings. These are really important to where you fall within the Google search results. A UR rating is essentially a trust rating with Google, and a DR rating is essentially a power rating with Google. These numbers are generally raised by a thing called a backlink, and all a backlink really is is just a shout out or an endorsement from another website. So if there's another website that's endorsing you and they have a clickable button back to your website, that's really all a backlink is. We can actually click on these, and go through them, and get those for your website. Now, lastly and most importantly, I wanted to talk about the organic keywords. These are the keywords within the content that I was talking about before. They have a ton, a ton, a ton of keywords that they're showing up for. So I'm just searching for Philadelphia at the moment. I'm not necessarily going over commercial. 
with that being said philadelphia woodworks and i know that's their name there's approximately 300 people who google this per month woodworking philadelphia there's approximately 600 people who google this per month woodworking classes although i don't believe that you do those philadelphia woodshop approximately 50 people a month Philadelphia Woodworking Company, approximately 60 a month. Philadelphia Woodshop, approximately 20 a month. Okay, I'm not going to go through every single one. You get the idea. But there's actually quite, quite, quite a bit of search volume for Philadelphia and woodworking. We could, of course, hone in on these keywords. However, the point is that there's a lot of people searching for these words. The more people that found your website, the more people that will call you, and in turn, the more clients that you would land. If we take a look at your website rating, these numbers are really low, so we would want to raise these up with some more high quality backlinks. If we look at your organic keywords, we can see you're showing up for a couple things. So woodworking Philadelphia, but you're in roughly 12th place. So that's the second page of Google. Philadelphia Woodworking Company, it actually says you lost this keyword, so you're no longer showing up for that one. Philadelphia Woodshop, you're in roughly 17th place, so like the second page of Google and most of the rest of these are a, a random. Some of them are good, but you're really far down. So if you were to one, get some more content on your homepage, two, get those keywords in there, <clears throat> and three, raise your website's power with some high quality backlinks, that would really help to rank your website. I hope that this was helpful and I look forward to speaking with you. Have a great day.